Hello everyone! In this tutorial I will show you how to render an interior scene using artificial lights uh, and using just mesh lights, not uh, area lamp or, or whatsoever. Just mesh lights with emission materials. Uh, let's get started. I will show you very quickly uh, what render settings I'm using. I'm using the CPU for uh, the preview because using the GPU will slow down my interface while rendering. The resolution is uh, 720p preset. And then I have the sampling settings here, which are uh, just 150 samples. Uh, and I'm using branch branched path tracing here. All the other settings should be the default, if I'm not wrong. Um, let's go to the light path settings. I'm using just a couple of bounces here. And no reflective or refractive caustics at all. I'm not using the denoiser, uh, but I, I eventually activate it. And also, very important, I'm using the filmic color, color management here, with a little bit and, uh, of exposure increase. I'm using 1.5 exposure value here. Those are the render settings. Uh, what about the materials? Well, I'm mostly using uh, simple materials like um, principal PSDF for every basically every object, nothing special. Some of them are more glossy, uh, some of them are simply diffuse materials, but it's a very simple setup. Uh, for the lights, I'm using a, an emission material slightly between green and blue with a 60 watts power for each light here, just to simulate a real, a real neon light. Okay, let's try to, to render the image just like it is. It's, let's see what we get. Let's make sure that the render region is okay. Let's hit render with the GPU. Here we are. I have just paused the video to, to skip the render time. It took about 2 minutes and 42 uh, seconds. And this is the result. As you can see, there is a lot of noise. There are these white spots. It's not actually only noise. It's like there are a lot of fireflies all over the image, as you can see. Look, this white and kind of reddish spots uh, on the image. So there is a noise problem here, clearly. Let's investigate what's causing actually the noise. Okay, to show you what's causing the noise, I'm going to, first of all, uh, um, turn the global illumination off. So I will set this to zero. So we just have the direct lighting here. Let's quickly render a region here with the CPU. Let's see what we get. Okay. As you can see, we have no global illumination, just direct lighting, pitch black shadows here and here. But I don't know if the YouTube compression allows you to see the image, but I clearly see no fireflies. So what I understand is that the fireflies are clearly caused by the global illumination. So the bounces here are causing the fireflies. In fact, if I activate them with a couple of bounces, I get them back. So the trick here is to just kill this firefly, this, this firefly, sorry, using the clamp indirect lighting, which will uh, somehow reduce the intensity of all the pixel, the pixels hit by indirect lighting which are above the threshold that I'm going to input to this parameter. So for example if I, if I put uh, 0 0.5 here 
this will hopefully kill the fireflies. In fact, I have no more fireflies. It's still noisy because it's computing, but there are no fireflies. Let's have a um, let's launch a full render to quickly show you what's going on. Let's go on the second slot and let's render it with the clamp indirect on. Okay, the render is done and as you can see is way better than before. If I switch between the image, between the, between the images, sorry, you can clearly see the difference. Anyway, we sacrificed uh, accuracy for noise reduction. In fact, if I switch to the original image without the clamping, you can see that this part of the lamp is supposed to be lit by the bounce light from the ceiling. But with the clamping, I remove the fireflies, but I also remove the lighting from the lamp but it's a, maybe a very tiny detail that nobody will uh, ever notice way better let's further investigate uh, what exactly is causing this um, this problem the problem is that the lights are very close to the to the ceiling and therefore the light that bounces on the ceiling and then gets scattered around the room is very very powerful uh, because the, the light intensities uh, decreases with the with the square of the distance so if we are very close to a surface the light that will bounce on that surface will be very intense In fact, if I just move these lights in the middle of the of the room, the light will will uh, still bounce on the ceiling. But when the light hits the ceiling, is not that powerful anymore because it traveled a long distance before hitting the the, the ceiling. Let's deactivate the clamping and render the image the setup is the same but but there are no not that much uh, not that many fireflies at all if i move the lights towards the ceiling i start having problems Let's wait it for and for the render to see. There are a lot, a lot more fireflies here. If I move down, no more fireflies. So this is the general rule. If you have a light. Uh, near a surface, very close to a surface that will reflect that light, you will have fireflies. So you can kill the fireflies just by using just by using the clamp indirect lighting, or you can use area lights like this. I'm switching between layers. I have another layer with just three area lights if I render with the area lights instead instead I will not have of course those fireflies because the light is shot just towards the, the floor 
and never bounces on the on the ceiling well it bounces on the ceiling but not directly from the source because the lights here are facing down the floor but i have a problem i don't have any of that light being projected on the on the ceiling so this kills the realism of the scene so if the light is in the frame you shouldn't use this setup if the if the light is not in the frame maybe you can consider uh, using this setup to simply uh, reduce the noise i forgot to actually turn this off you will see that you still have no fireflies actually there are some fireflies because this part this little part is uh, is making the light bounce around so if I hide the lamps here let's use the CPU to render it because I cannot use the interface if I use the, Z, the GPU let's hide these objects to avoid the scattering around let's hide them let's just use the lights let's see what we get see no more fireflies because there is no light that it's bouncing on the ceiling okay so the main source of uh, noise has been tackled now let's uh, get rid of the remaining noise uh, let's uh, deactivate the bounces and let's go back just to the dark light to see what's going on now. Uh, let's just render this part. Oh, come on. Okay, let's render this part. I'm using the CPU. Okay, render. Again, dark lighting. Uh, the noise now, uh, well, the other source of noise is this one, which is caused by the soft shadows. And this kind of noise can be easily reduced by increasing the render samples. And in this case, since we are using uh, mesh lights, we can also increase the mesh light sampling. So for the final render, we will combine this clamp indirect uh, light to get rid of the fireflies. We will increase the render samples and the mesh light samples. And also use the denoiser, which is the final weapon against the, the noise. That noise that can be actually uh, reduced by increasing the render samples. Because if you, you can also use 1000 samples, for example, but you will never get a clean image. Uh, you will not get completely rid of the noise uh, with, with, for example, 2000 samples. You will still have a little bit of noise and that noise will be removed by the denoiser. So, Let's set up the scene for the final render. We will use uh, maybe 250 samples. Uh, let's use maybe three times the samples, the AA samples for the uh, mesh lights. Let's switch back to our default setup for this scene, which is two bounces. And let's activate the denoiser with the normal uh, with the default settings let's deactivate the render region and let's use the gpu to do the final render here we are this is the final image it took seven minutes and a half to render but it's definitely better than the first image we image uh, we rendered this is the first one with all the fireflies and the noise just with 150 samples. This is the image with 250 samples 
and with the denoiser activated and also the clamp indirect lighting activated. I think it's pretty pretty clean and with a fair render time. Well, I hope uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, please, uh, I want to apologize with you for my bad English, but you know, English is not my native uh, language, and also for the bad audio quality. Uh, but this is the best microphone I have right now. Uh, let me know in, in the comments if you have any questions or uh, suggestions for uh, other tutorials. Thank you very much. Bye.